Welcome to this demo of Appify, the full stack platform for web scraping and automation. In this video, we'll explore many of Appify's powerful features through three practical use cases. Scheduling and running pre-built programs while connecting third-party tools as outputs, setting up a no-code integration of multiple pre-built functionalities and monitoring the integration over time, and developing a multi-step enrichment and transformation pipeline using Appify's infrastructure, libraries, and tooling. Let's begin with logging into our Appify account. If you have not created an account, you may do so on Appify.com homepage. Once we are logged in, let's navigate to the store. Here, you may find more than 2,000 ready-to-use actors, serverless programs that run on the platform. These actors perform different tasks such as data extraction, task automation, processing, and much more. As you can see, there are many categories of actors depending on the use case, general purpose actors to help in the development of your own actors, and community actors built and maintained by developers from all around the world. Let's take a closer look at our e-commerce category and select our Amazon product scraper. This actor quickly and easily extracts product data from Amazon. Simply enter a category or search URL in the query field and set the number of products per URL you wish to receive. This actor, like many other Appify actors, handles bot detection and blocking avoidance through proxy usage, rate limiting, and browser fingerprinting built in with no setup needed. That being said, some actors on the store allow for proxy configuration and even the connection of your own proxies. If you have any questions while using any of our actors, make sure to refer to the actor information page. If you come across any bugs or performance issues, be sure to report them here so that Appify or the community developer can quickly remedy the problem. Now let's create a task and schedule it so that we can receive this data on a regular basis. Let's choose from one of Appify's native integrations so that we can regularly receive the data in our Google Drive as well as in Slack. Here, you can manage all of the integrations connected with this task, turning certain integrations on or off and reviewing the run logs. Now, let's run the task. Here are the results in the platform, and here are the results on Slack. Next, let's see how two actors from the Appify store can be integrated together to create a workflow. In this use case, we will obtain enriched property listing geospatial data. Let's begin with our Zillow zip code search scraper and create some search filters. I'm interested in homes for sale in the Austin, Texas, greater metro area specifically in these zip codes. We can easily edit in bulk by pasting a list of zip codes into the input dialog box here. Let's set a minimum and maximum listing price. I'm only interested in recently listed properties, so I'll set these filters as such. Our default run options should suffice. Before we hit start, let's create a task and connect this actor to the next stage in our data enrichment pipeline through our integrations tab. Like demonstrated in our last use case, here is where many native integration options are available for connecting Appify with external tools. However, now the dataset will stay within Appify's platform storage as a key value store to be used as an input for our next actor. You can see here Appify's recommended actor integrations, or you can search for any actor or task by clicking here. We are now on the Zillow Details Scraper setup page. You can see that this integration will trigger when the previous run succeeds, and that the Zillow zip code search scraper's dataset ID is prefilled as a resource to be passed to this actor as a payload, specifically the home detail URLs to be used as an input for further enrichment. Let's change this for sale and hit save. Now let's start this workflow. The Zillow zip code search scraper is spinning up a headless browser on an Appify server. We can follow along via the run log and see some results coming through already. Now the second actor, Zillow Detail Scraper, begins its run upon the completion of the first actor. Now we can see the total number of results. The run was initiated by Webhook as per the synchronous actor-to-actor -actor integration we set up and our results with fully enriched property details. At this time, we could set up an additional output integration with an ETL, Google Drive, or an output email like we did previously. Instead, let's set up some monitoring alerts so that we are notified if, for example, the actor fails or if a certain amount of our budgeted prepaid usage has been consumed. 
We can review our actor to actor's key performance metrics in this dashboard. For our last use case, I will show you how we can leverage everything the Appify platform has to offer by developing a custom actor that connects multiple Appify actors and transforms data from various platforms into a unified format. In functional terms, we will construct a workflow that searches for hashtags across multiple social media platforms, returns multiple data points from the profiles who used the hashtag, the posts in which it was used, and the comments associated with the posts. Let's begin by navigating to our Actor Templates page. As you can see, you can link an external repository or push work from your CLI. But today, let's build in our web integrated development environment. No need to build from scratch. Let's choose from one of the many templates of varying code languages and libraries to jumpstart our work. We will select the TypeScript template. We begin by defining the input schema for our actor. This schema allows us to specify the parameters the actor will use which can act as an accessible user interface. Ours will consist of the hashtags we want to scrape, the social media platforms we're targeting, and how many results to return per hashtag. Next, let's move into the actual actor logic in main.ts. Here, we initialize the actor using actor.init and retrieve the input that we defined in the schema. The input includes the fields that we defined in the input schema. Now, in the run hashtag function, we start runs of the specific scrapers for each platform and remember the IDs of the started runs. We do this so that when our running script gets migrated to a new server, we can pick up the already initiated runs and continue where we left off. Since the specific social media actor's runs operate asynchronously, we use Appify's client SDK wait for finish method to track the progress and block further actions until all runs are completed. This ensures that all data is fully scraped before moving on to the next step, processing the results. Each social media platform, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, has its own configuration, which we define in the utils.ts. This config object defines the platform-specific mapping of fields into our new standard output format. For example, TikTok's profile URL is constructed using a string template that fetches the profile name from an item object while other fields such as likes count or post URL are extracted directly from the raw response. Considering we will most likely use this data pipeline at scale, let's apply a scalability improvement. Processing the whole data set at once would become unfeasible when our social media platform actors return millions of items. So we need to rewrite our processing code to load process and then save output items in a smaller batches. We will define that we want to process our data in batches of 1,000 items and repeatedly increase the offset until we get an empty batch, meaning we have processed all the items. Now let's build and start this newly developed custom actor. And finally, let's run our actor and get the unified output. If we want to manage this data pipeline externally with an API client, we can utilize the endpoints found here. Finally, let's check our results. Throughout these three use cases, we've explored how Appify enables seamless automation and data extraction. From running pre-built actors with native integrations to chaining multiple actors for complex workflows, and finally building custom solutions for large-scale data processing. Thank you for watching and take care.